Nice looking equation, isn't it? This was the first problem on the 2024 Australian Mathematical Olympiad. Problem 1 is designed to be the most accessible of the six problems, but personally I found this one to be more challenging than usual. I find it slightly amusing that they decided to define the concept of a factorial. Given that this is an invitation only competition, pretty sure any student good enough to be invited to sit it knows what a factorial is. Anyway. Let's start by just substituting in some small values. So if k is equal to 1, for example, 1 factorial is just 1. So we need to find a solution to 1 plus m factorial is equal to n factorial. Well, if m were equal to 1, then 1 plus 1 would be equal to 2 factorial because 2 factorial is just 2. And we can generalize this to any k value. I mean, if k equals 7, for example, so we have 7 factorial plus m factorial is equal to 7 factorial times n factorial. Well, if m was 7 as well, then 7 factorial plus 7 factorial is just double 7 factorial. It's always going to work because 2 factorial is just equal to 2. So as long as m is equal to k and n is equal to 2, we'll always have a solution. That's going to give an infinite set of solutions, which we can express like this. But you might have guessed that these are not the only solutions. To find the others, it's time for some algebra. If we move the k factorial onto the right-hand side, we can factorize the equation. The right-hand side becomes k factorial times n factorial minus 1. And this form of the equation is actually very useful. On the right-hand side, we have a product of a factorial and another factorial minus 1. The key is that all factorials are even. So when we subtract 1, it must be odd. We also know it's greater than 1 if n is greater than 2, and we dealt with the case where n is equal to 2 above. So we're multiplying k factorial by something larger than 1, which means m must be larger than k. The fact that we're multiplying by an odd number actually means that m must be exactly equal to k plus 1, as there can't be any even numbers between k and m. k n factorial minus 1 does not contain any even factors. Let's look at an example to demonstrate that idea. Let's say we want to find a solution where m is 9 and k is 7. If we sub that into our equation on the left, we'll see why it won't be able to work. 9 factorial is 9 times 8 times 7 factorial, which means that in this example, the n factorial minus 1 would have to be equal to 9 times 8. That can't work because we know it has to be odd which is a contradiction. There can't be any even numbers that are larger than k and less than or equal to m, which means m must be exactly equal to k plus 1. But n can be anything, all right? anything greater than 2. In that case, n factorial minus 1 is odd, and we just set k to be the number that's 1 less than that. m then is 1 more than k, and we'll get another infinite set of solutions. We can express those as k, m, n, where k is n factorial minus 2, m is n factorial minus 1, and n can be any integer larger than 2. Just to check we've got that right, let's take another example, say n is 7. Now 7 factorial is 5040. k uh, from our solution has to be n factorial minus 2. Uh, so in this case, that's going to be 5038. m is going to be n factorial minus 1, that's 5039. So uh, using our equation which we had from above, we have 5039 factorial is equal to 5038 factorial times bracket n factorial minus 1. n factorial minus 1 here is 5039, and that works out, right? Because 5039 times 5038 factorial is actually 5039 factorial. So for n greater than 2, all solutions must have that form. If n equals 2, we get the, the first solution where k and m were both equal. There you are. Hope you enjoyed that nice factorial equation. If you want to see more nice math problems, subscribe to the channel and you might like to check out this video.